Welcome, friends. It's Metal Kyle back here with ya. And you know, this game, a lot of people told me I just, I need to give it another try. I need to give it another shot. I wasn't fair to it. And, okay, fine. We'll give it another shot. We'll see what it has to offer. I'm gonna kinda zing through the tutorial here in the beginning again, and we'll get back to where we were. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre feel. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. That's I, I don't closer. know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. So I have not watched any other playthroughs or seen what the ending is. I haven't done any of that stuff. I just kind of stopped playing this and started playing a bunch of other games, but I will give it another chance. A lot of people like this game, so I will give it another chance. All right, here we go. great all right gotta remember it it's been a couple of weeks that's the power or something like that okay. and signed wunderbar rebecca there's the body great. perfect timing i just finished with mr dalton here hey, please, please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us mrs page Spooky view. You know for a fact later that one of the bodies are gonna go, and rise up and scare the crap out of me. And it will scare the crap out of me. You'll see it. There we go. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Okay. Ooh. That 
looks like some burns. Everything's fine. Take the shoulders. Some more burns. Looks like a kitty gotcha. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Am I right? Am I right? There's the kitty scratches. Ooh, yeah. I bet she died and her cat started eating her because apparently that is what they do. I'm a huge fan of cats, by the way. I love cats. That's, that's nothing. It's like a piece of blood, but it's okay. Ooh, ouch. Oh, that's an easy one. Wait, can't rotate it? No? All right. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Not Don't forget problem. to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Not a problem, Creeper. Name. Goodbye. What was that? I didn't say anything. Oh yeah, that happened. You all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. All over the place, except for the left shoulder. Can I? I can't enter that. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you gotta just... Duh. Not hard. Hang on, gotta wait for this to print. Yeah. Alright. I get a very Ozzy Osbourne vibe off of that. Right, right. Embalm. Time to embalm. Cool. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Okay, wire jaw shut, needle injector, and setting needle. Needle injector, okay. Nope. Okay. Great. What else did I need? Setting needles? Nope. 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 I do recall struggling last time, but it won't be that bad this time. I promise. Joy, it's right there. Okay. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> ah, lovely. No, oh, what, what what are you doing? There we go. Yes. Nice. Next, insert eye caps. I see them. Yup. There you go. There you go. Cool. Does that count? No. Okay. Uh-oh, what did I do? Oh. Ah. All right. Duh. Silly me, mix and ball and glue. Glutaraldehyde, glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, formaldehyde? Okay. 
I assume it's just those four it's gotta be. I can't hold anything else. Oh, here we go with this again. Alright. Drop an item. Okay. Let's drop both. Can I do that? Drop that. Drop that. Tab. Where'd they go? Right on the floor. As a person would, right? I can't hold I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. Oh! Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. What the hell was that? Oh like my that. god. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. I don't yeah. have my clipboard. You need your clipboard. I can't hold anything else. Oh, Rebecca. We are in for one scary I can't ride. use that here. Drop. Alright, well. Mech didn't. So I gotta put them in one ingredient at a time. Good. There we go. Good deal. Incision in a cardioid scalpel. Yeah. I know what that is. Yum. Okay. Use forceps and tubing. Nope. Nope. Oh wait, yeah, tubing. Okay. Forceps. Oh, it's this, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Doing doing a lot better than last time, that's for sure. Ooh, yum. Yummy! Engage pump and let the body drain. Just click it. People actually do this. They are important. They are important. We do need them. IV bag with cavity fluid, then insert the trocar. Empty IV bag, cavity fluid. Okay. Trocar. What was it? Cavity fluid. Can I open that? Can I open that? Alright. What the hell was that thing? Did you see that? I saw that way too- Aw, oh, I am- Yeah, I'm done. I am so done. Oh well. Oh well. It's for you, friends. Always. Oh, it's right here. Interesting. Do I put the reservoir bag in there? Oops. Yeah. Not for the squeamish. Guess I just hang out. Yep. I mean, don't don't let me stop you. I don't. What are you? Whatever. Whatever. It worked. There we go. That was weird, but whatever. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet. All 
All right. Then I gotta pour it into here. Yep. Getting it. We're getting it, friends. Apply moisturizer to patient. Okay. I can't, I can't use that here. Oh, I gotta wait until that's done. Okay. Now I've gotta apply it. All right, all right, all right. Wah, wee, 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 wah, wah, wah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh. Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Thanks, Creeper. Did I just leave? If I remember right. Yeah. All right. Cool. And this is about where I stopped because I was pathetically terrible the first time. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. That's odd. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. A conveniently dark and stormy night. Doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badges in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. Oh, he needs shit. me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Well, fun. A conveniently uh, dark, stormy night. Nice place you got here. Ooh, what knife set you got? Eh, eh I've seen better. Ooh, I think it... beep, 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 beep. Oh, toothpaste. Let's take it. Alright. Oh, wow, that must be the Halloween little touch they threw in there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Whoa, oh, so, oh, oh. What? Okay, so. Hi, Rebecca. M Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but oh, listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Oh, Stop. You need to take this seriously. Is this you need demon? to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> What am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Okay. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. 
No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. I think he's up just yet? some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Yeah, just some hazing, you know, no big deal. Take that, take that. Tape recorder. What do I need a tape recorder for? It's all Halloween themed. That's funny. Do I take one of these? No. I don't have my clipboard. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Well, let's go. What's this? A matchbox. What's this? Raiden, I know you said not to decorate for Halloween, but you need a little fun in your life. I did it anyway, and you're just going to have to deal with it, Zoe. Thanks, Zoe. Really livened up the place. Nice. That's not it. That's not it? Oh, there we go. All right, let's do it. I'm quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. It is the demon. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen oh, body, God. and burn it in the retort. Uh. Okay. I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. That's kind of cool, actually. I had years okay. to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Oh, God. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Now Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <laughs> this is insane. Cabin. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Yeah, whatever. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you. Weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Turbo. Allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Scribble? Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. I am so gonna die. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database Ooh. contains all the oh, information on the process of expulsion, the, the is tools this? used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. Oh. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. I'm so going to die. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Okay, okay, Placing okay. the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the 
reagent inside. It will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, when the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. That's scared. The demon will inscribe its sigil Shit. over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to Whatever. create the mark. Just grab a the body and get started. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the then, when you're certain, at least burn I can keep track of things. I'm gonna die, but here we go, friends. Let's go grab a body. Crummy old building. Straight into it. Fuck me in here. Scaring the shit out of me. Come on. No hot dates tonight. This looks like one. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a body. What are you with these body? Gonna find out. Uh inspect body. Okay. For you. Alright, let's check you out. Let's check you out. Mm, don't see anything there. Uh oh. What? What do I do? Hello? What the hell? Okay, okay. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm sure the door is locked, so let's just... Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Just Can I make cheating for that? Okay. Anything on your arm? No. Oh, head. Looks like you got pummeled over on this side. Ooh. All right. Three out of four. Uh-oh. Oh. Feel like we're good on the legs. Yep, good there. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, got you, buddy. Well, it's a good thing that. I kind of restarted because, yeah, uh, I think speed might be the name of the game here. I was failing miserably just now. I need to file the copy up front. Of course I do. All right, it's gonna get me. Wait, wait. Time to embalm. Oh. Where's the paper? Good. Let's keep moving. A scootin' bootin'. Needle setting wire. Where is that stuff? Is it in here? Yep. And then setting. Needles, okay. 